Hello everyone, my name is Rakanda Crows and welcome to a freshly released game. This is Graveyard Keeper, a sensational indie game about running a graveyard. Well, <laughs> it is published by Tiny Build and developed by Lazy Bear Games, and I have indeed played the alpha of this game but never recorded it for the channel as I was waiting for the final release. And that is what we have now the final release, so let us get into it and start a new game. For those of us, who, of us, of you, who aren't in the known, this is a game that takes inspiration from games such as Stardew Valley, the Harvest Moon games, and Rune Factory. So you have all those elements of having an estate and having to build it up and make money and stuff. You can read the text in the background, though I will read it for you later. You have all of those things and a story that is this. Our player, Gary, was going home, but he got run over by a car and died. Please ignore the cats playing in the background. So we meet this person and if you can see the double cursor I am sorry, I will try to fix that soon. A whole new chapter awaits for you ahead. But I need to go home. Can I go home? There's always a way to get home. Hmm, let me see. Your new home is a graveyard. Does that mean I'm dead? It means you're a graveyard keeper now. But I need to go home to my love. Then you need to be a good graveyard keeper. You should dig up Jerry. He will help you sort everything out. Who? Huh? What a strange vision. What is this nightmare? Okay, let's find Jerry. But first, uh, let's see if changing the mouse cursor. Yeah, it fixes the, the issue. Uh, I think this issue was caused uh, by me moving the mouse outside of the window. It tends to happen to a lot of Linux games. Oh, so we have an extra chest from the alpha, as well as our uh, bed chest. So let us exit. And this game does seem to have been pretty much made to be played with a controller, uh, quite a little bit. But uh, yeah, we'll be playing it with the mouse and keyboard. So we press F to interact with something, in this case... Uh, oh, there we go, the cutscene is making the, the cursor become hardware. That's okay, I'm pretty sure this will eventually be fixed. A man with a red eye told me that I need to dig up Jerry. A red eye? I remember! Oh, sorry, that's right. I'm Jerry. How did you find me? The man told me that you'd answer all my questions. Good, good, but first let me ask you, uh, who are you and where the sword are we? Um, I must be dreaming. None of this can be real. Hmm, you're the new graveyard keeper. What else do I remember? Let me think. I remember that sound. Let's go check it out. Everything is so strange. None of this makes sense. I definitely remember that bell. And the donkey. Something is very wrong with that animal. Mm. You know, I think it'll be better if I wait for you here. I might scare the poor thing. So, to soften this problem, I will keep my cursor as the hardware cursor. Not as pretty, not as environment like immersive with the art style, but functional. So, this is Donkey. He will bring us corpses. Got a fresh corpse from the town. Wow, a talking donkey! Um, um, you, you can understand me! Let's talk! Who are you? I'm cheap labor, this cart isn't mine, so I have to work for the capitalist bastard who owns it. And I only earn 5 carats a day! This situation is deeply humiliating. You know where I'm coming from, right, comrade? The bastard pretends that he doesn't understand anything I'm saying. Anyway, I need to go back to the town. You get rid of this one, and I'll bring you a new one. What a strange land this is. So now we have a corpse to take care of. 
and Jerry the Skull will teach us how to take care of it. I feel like we should take it to the morgue. I don't remember why exactly, but I'm pretty sure it'll be fun and might be profitable. Uh, I'm gonna puke. Yeah. So we come to the corpse, we press C, we go to the morgue, press C to enter. Sard. I like this place. Feels like home. Put the body on the autopsy table, then, um, what's next? Oh yes, slice some flesh from the corpse. That should be good for starters. What? No way! This isn't right. Sure, sure, it's not right. How could I forget? Maybe because I'm a talking skull with amnesia. Is it right that you don't know where you are? Is it right that I'm a skull? Nothing is right here. So shut the sword up and do what I tell you. You promised to t you'll tell me how to get home? Just need to trade the meat in the village tavern for a beer. Talking skulls never lie, and then bring the beer to me. <laughs> You've unlocked a new technology and got Blueprint, the preparation place, Blueprint, the pellet, extract flesh. So, we come here to the autopsy table, we put the body in, we press E to autopsy. Now, we can remove body parts uh, from the, the corpse that's on the table. In this case, we can only remove the flesh, so we'll extract, press F to work on it. And there we go, we've unlocked the new technology and got create burger, create sandwich, create baked meat. That's disgusting. <laughs> You'll get used to it. So what should I do with the corpse? Don't know. Let's bury it. Take the corpse. I'll wait for you in the graveyard. So basically we have a skeleton now. To take the corpse we just come here and take the body. You may notice that we lost a white skull when we removed the flesh, because that's what removing the flesh does it takes a skull out so let's take the body and I, I can't remember if it's random whether it takes a white or red skull nah. we'll rediscover that so eh. Gary says let's bury it use the blueprint desk at the graveyard mark a site for the grave then dig it with your shovel Carefully put the body, or what remains of it, in the grave. Bury, decorate. Warning, do not use goat skulls and upside down stars for decoration. <sighs> okay, so Gary gave us a rusty shovel. So we'll press E to put the corpse down, because we need to come build a grave site. And we'll build our first grave site right here. And press F on it. And there we go, one grave, minus two to the graveyard um, rating, which we can't see yet. But we grab the corpse, we bring it over, we enter the corpse, which already gives us plus one to counter the minus two that the open grave gave us. And we continue until we have a grave. Nicely done. Um, this burial certificate, I remember, money... Alcohol? Alcohol. Hmm, I sure used to like it. A lot. Oh, sorry, here comes the bishop. He's your boss. Oh, oh, I know. Ask him about this burial certificate. He should know something. I'd better leave now. I'll be in the morgue, waiting for my beer. Dear me, why am I so tired? Why? Why do I have to come here every week? So, we talk to him. Ah, Keeper, there you are. Mm. I'm sorry to have to tell you this, but your graveyard is a mess. There is no way I am promoting it to Cleric until you fix it. So, the tutorial says current location name, important location information, the graveyard quality, the church appeal, etc. Repair graves to increase the graveyard's overall quality. You'll probably need special resources to do that. You've unlocked the new technology and got a wooden marker. As soon as your graveyard quality is at least 5, you'll be pleased to promote. I'll be pleased to promote you, I mean. You look like a spiritual leader, and I'm a good judge of character. Haha! <laughs> I'm good at everything. That's why I was chosen to represent his will. Haha! <laughs> 
Your predecessor used to keep his stuff in the trunk somewhere here. You should check it. I'll come by again next week. In fact, I come here every... And a mysterious symbol. Maybe I'm not dreaming. Did I eat something? Oh, he's waiting. Uh, what should I say? Why is it you come here? It's part of my duty. The unpleasant part. It's kind of an old tradition. I don't know much about all the traditions and rituals. I'm just here to represent his might and glory. Ha <laughs> ha. I have one tiny question. What is this burial certificate? As soon as a body has been laid to rest, you can trade its burial certificate for money at the village tavern. New task. Alright, so... Not gonna ask these questions. If you run out of packets while fixing the graveyard, you can always craft new ones. That is... Okay, tutorial. Technology is to craft new items. You'll need to unlock the relevant technology. This costs tech points. Press tab to open the technology tree. Red points represent handcrafting skills. Green points represent knowledge about nature. Blue points, spiritual knowledge in material world. And you can earn points simply by doing anything. You can get points by studying new items at a special table. But that's further along the game. So we got the stone stockpile and we can now gather stone rocks. And the same for timber and wood. And here is the technologies panel. So let's look at what we have. Well, right now we can't really unlock anything. Ooh, cookery. This is new from the last time I played. So meat fiesta we already have. It was unlocked as soon as we got some meat. Uh, first thing I want to get is this, because extracting blood and fat is pretty good to make nice corpses. Uh, theology will be next, because we need to have a good church to make money. Uh, no, we are not going to be making money, mostly from interring corpses. At least, well, not after the start. So first we come here and we open this and we see our inventory. We have a burial certificate, a rusty shovel and some flesh. And over here we have the rest of our tools and a few repair kits. Which is great because repair kits, at least last time I played, were not worth making. So first things first, we want to start repairing graves, especially the ones that are just minus one. So this one has a pretty good corpse uh, and it's not one of the good graves, it's a mediocre grave. Now this one has a wooden marker which we can fix. So we do that. It's more energy efficient to fix things. Um, but as you can see, all we're doing is mending the the stuff we, we have. We're not really upgrading our graveyard so much as we are stopping it from being such a mess. This corpse is terrible. Once we have the soft spares, we might dig up these corpses and prepare them properly. So we ran out of wooden repair kits. I mean, we have one. Don't think we can use it on anything. Yeah, no, that needs two. This needs one, so here we go. We can fix the stonework at least a little bit so that things aren't as uh, terrible. Let's fix that. Okay, so that, that one was a good one to repair. Uh, okay, we can fix the, the stone there and get the sub plus one. Marvelous, this, oh, actually plus three, so pretty good. And we can remove these bushes to stop them from being so terrible for our rating, as well as earn us some skill points. So let us do that. We are also getting a few sticks, which will be needed. So while I'm doing this, I will explain the days to you. The days are named after the seven deadly sins. But you may notice that there's only six of them, and now we're out of energy. There's only six of them because it's implied that we are the seventh one, greed. And if I am correct, this one is pride, pride or vanity. This one is lust, 
Uh, and I'm not entirely sure what the other ones are. Mm hmm. I know this one is list because it's the. Uh, this one is Wrath. Uh, I think. Something like that. But anyway, here are our stockpiles place for woodlocks, place for stone. And we have other blueprints here, such as the. For more trunk, for more yard space, for more stockpiles, and other things that we will eventually be able to build. This should be empty. Yeah. That is okay. Uh, we already have this grindstone, which we need a whetstone to use and will allow us to repair our tools. And that arrow, if I'm not mistaken, is pointing us in the direction of town. However, we can see the garden here. Property in for feature for commercial use contract tavern on Hodrick. Uh, Hodrick, whatever his name is. Now, something we can try and do with our remaining energy. Ah, okay, we can't gather the berries yet. That's okay. So we can actually sleep, even though it's almost morning. Uh, we can still sleep anyway. And we need to sleep to save the game and end this episode. So, let's go sleep. We sleep more efficiently during the night. During the day you'll see our energy recover starts getting lower, but that's okay. But that will be it for this episode. Let me know if you would like to see more Graveyard Keeper. I'll surely be doing a few more of episodes. And, well, next episode we will continue this story. Yorick, the old Graveyard Keeper, if I'm not mistaken. It's lonely. Wait, no, on the contrary, very glad to see you, but we have a rather pleasant fellow buried here. Used to have a new neighbor instead, that sounds like something you can help us with. I'm not exactly sure I'm here, actually. Gary only told me about burying bodies. You're Yorick. Half dead skull. Can dream of the peaceful rest. <laughs> nah. Okay, I'm pretty sure we'll get this next episode since I saved when I slept. So I'll see you next time. And remember, here there will be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day and I'll see you next time.